What's going on everyone? Welcome back to our Indianapolis Colts franchise mode. We are 4-0-1 heading into week number 6 where we will head to Jacksonville. We had a really good close victory over them week number 1 thanks to a fantastic pass by Richardson and Knight really showing that he deserved to be on our roster. We do have some big roster moves uh, this week for our team especially on the depth chart wise but we'll get to them in a moment uh, there was two big injuries last week uh, one of them was to who Pittsburgh's wide receiver star wide receiver Deontay Johnson he winds up dislocating his ankle and will be out for seven weeks Marquise Brown also of the Arizona Cardinals uh, he winds up fracturing his shoulder blade and will be out six weeks as well. Uh, following the injury to Marquise Brown, Arizona is dead last. Same with Seattle. Seattle's made two trades, trading for um, Hunter Henry from New England. And then they wound up trading away Noah Fant actually this week in a trade to where they got uh, defensive tackle Daquan Jones from the <laughs> from the New York Jets. We actually made a trade as well, trading away Gardner Minshew and a second round pick this uh, next season to the Arizona Cardinals in exchange for star tight end Zach Ertz, 32-year-old Zach Ertz, and a fifth-round pick this year. So moving back from the second to the fifth and upgrading from Gardner Minshew to Zach Ertz. Gardner Minshew will now be the starting quarterback over there for the Arizona Cardinals as they still have uh, Kyler Murray on the injured list. I don't know how long he's on the injured list, but I do know he's on the injured list. So Joshua Dobbs has been their quarterback all season and they are 0 and 5 as one could probably expect. Um, so Kyler Murray's not hurt anymore. They just aren't taking him off of injured reserve yet. So maybe just wanting to keep him safe. Maybe it's a contract reason. Maybe they're trying to ship him off. They're probably tanking for Caleb Williams like they will be in real life, honestly. So we'll see what happens. Um, we do have a breakout defensive lineman for our team. What's going on? Marlon Burge is our defensive co coordinator on pay. The defensive lineman, he was a big part of our win last week. I'm not totally sold on him yet, but he but he has uh if he has a repeat performance against the Jags this week, he might turn out to be a very, very special player. So hold the Jags to less than seventy five rushing yards and one rushing touchdown, or get Kawit Pay two interceptions, forced fumbles, tackle for losses, and set or sacks. Alright, well we'll keep an eye on Pay. I actually wasn't expecting that him anyways to be the guy um, but I'm going to show you guys what our lineups kind of looking like now uh, we are still going to have Robbie Chosen be the number two wide receiver just for this game I want to see how how he kind of works there we did remove Jonathan Taylor off of the IR I thought I had to wait until week number eight or nine turns out I can get him after week six um, or at week six. So Jonathan Taylor's back. James Robinson will now be second on the depth chart, followed by Moss and Knight. And I'm actually going to move Knight over Moss. Um, tight end wise, Zach Ertz is now going to be the starting tight end, followed by another man that we took off of the injured list, Jalen Woods, six foot seven. He's a six foot seven tight end. He's fucking huge, massive. All right. So we're going to have him be there. And then Mole Alley Cox will be the fourth, um, number three. Uh, number three in our tight end spot, O.J. Howard getting moved over to the fullback position full time now. So 79 overall fullback, not bad. And if he doesn't really work out, we'll switch over to James Robinson being our starting fullback. Anthony Richardson has no backup quarterbacks here today. So if he gets hurt in a game, at least for that game, we're not going to have a starting quarterback. Um, defensively, who was it? Pain, 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 pain. Where are you? There you are. Star pay. Kawiti pay. He's already a star, so they're trying to see if he could possibly get up to a superstar. Oh, that would be huge for us. Huge. 
Uh, we are going to keep Freeland as the starting right guard. I was close to making a trade with Arizona as well in the addition to uh, Zach Ertz. I was going to take their left tackle, their backup left tackle, who's like a 77 overall or 76 overall, and have him play right guard. But Freeland's been playing so good over there, and our O-line's been pretty dominant. I'm just going to keep it the way that it is right now. Um, specialists are still being the same, except James Robinson is going to be our power back, not Jonathan Taylor. So we're still trying to keep James Robinson part of it, and that way also the workload won't hurt Jonathan Taylor as much since he has had some injury issues the past couple seasons. And Josh Downs is now still going to be our starting slot receiver, followed by Alec Pierce and then K.J. Hamler. Um, we're going to try to get Pierce some more play time. He hasn't really touched the field since week one. After a pretty weak performance, he kind of lost his job. Uh, on the depth chart um, but weekly strategy against Jacksonville what they want us to do what they want us to do they want us to defend the medium pass against him okay and then they want us to throw it short against them all right we can do that throw two or less oh allow two or less passing touchdowns um, actually I want to go running wise oh we can't has to be that one huh well, let's see if we can sack the quarterback five more times. All right, I want my D-line to get those sacks. They did really well last week. Hopefully they can do well again this week. Our defense and looks good. No injuries there. Offensively, going to be no injuries as well. So team staying healthy, staying healthy. That's what we like to see probably will happen when we get closer to the playoffs, but we got some upgradable players before we here in week number six. Our, rent, our right end gets an upgrade. Uh, Kylan Granson gets an upgrade, and then Will Fries or Fries get an upgrade as well. All right. kicking off and for real we're actually kicking off first time this season we'll see the Colts get the ball to start the second half every game they've won so far they've been the one to receive it first here comes Trevor Lawrence I wonder if Jacksonville picked up on that and that's why they're deciding to or electing to receive it so Trevor Lawrence is over a thousand yards passing this season 10 touchdowns and two interceptions drastically improving his numbers since losing to the Colts in week number one. Was a good game, was a close game. Let's see what Jacksonville has in store for us right now. I would say that they have been one of our toughest opponents, but because we actually played good against them and just barely beat them compared to like a few of our wins in which we have not been playing very good, but yet somehow squeak out a win or a tie against uh, Baltimore for a chance but uh, one big thing that's been being talked about is that the Colts are 4-0 uh, a lot of teams did not see that coming or a lot of analysts did not see that coming and we actually got called out who was it Jonathan Coachman were telling people to chillax 
about us being 4-0. and oh. I'm not sure. I didn't see this whole report, so I'm not sure. Wow, good tiptoe catch right there, Christian Kirk. But uh, I'm not sure if he's telling people to chillax like he was expecting this to happen or he's telling people to chillax because he knows that we're going to be taking a step back. Uh, line break, sideline, over the head. Trevor Lawrence not happy with his O-line right there. Ashton Doolin out for the season with a knee injury. Wow, Jacksonville's got a few end of season injuries as well. So second and 10 on the 41. Lawrence just gonna dip it, chop it down underneath. Christian Kirk picks up the first down and Lawrence is just slowly marching down this field. Kirk's got 42 yards already. It's only two minutes into this game. Orange drops back again, pressure, check down pass, Calvin Ridley. Gain of six. <laughs> Yikes, so second and four, Lawrence again, check down, no, over the head and diving into the end zone. Evan Ingram. Wow, over the top of our receivers, perfectly in his hands. And just dives right on into the or the free safety Burgess to score that touchdown. Ugh. All right, that's fine, that's fine. That was a big play, all momentum in favor of Jacksonville right now, especially in front of this home crowd. We could not stop them whatsoever on that drive. They'll kick it off to us. We'll get at our two, returning it out. Hamler falls down or taken down at our 22. And here will come Richardson with Jonathan Taylor and Zach Ertz for the first time. So these guys have not played uh, much together this season, really at all. So let's see if newer, better weapons helps Jonathan Taylor's numbers improve to better than what they even were before. So this is Taylor's first game back since holding out for his contract. Good check down pass for Richardson, caught by Michael Pittman, gain of seven. First and three now. Five minutes left. Hand off to Jonathan Taylor, his first touch of the season. Big rush, 10 yard gain. Is Jonathan Taylor back for good? Is he back to being a superstar? He won't get paid like one. He had to agree to those kind of terms when excite, uh, signing back with the Colts. He was either gonna get traded or had to take a really team-friendly deal. And he took a team-friendly deal. That's how you know he really did want to stay here in Indianapolis. So four minutes left, Richardson looking to pass. Too far in front of the receiver. Oh, I think he was trying to hit Zach Ertz, to be honest. So now third and five. Richardson, he's gonna find Michael Pittman for the first down. There we go, up to the 34. Michael Pittman's been rather quiet this start of the season. He's had a few big plays. I know he's really hard to bring down. He got himself a new contract this year as well. And I love to see that uh, linebackers and cornerbacks and safeties kind of just bounce off him. Yep, he threw it into double coverage. Lucky that wasn't picked, Rich. Got to lob that one, if anything. Hand off to Taylor. Shakes off the first tackle, brought down, following a gain of one. All right, so third and nine. Blitz coming. Richardson on the throw and run. That's Robbie Chosen for the first down. Pick up a maybe 11 on that. 
but Robbie chose at 13. Picks up 13. Robbie Chosen coming in clutch. This is going to be his first game starting. He got moved up the depth chart last week to play about half of a football game. Now we're going to see what he can really do getting a full game. Hamler would have been that wide receiver too, but he was having some drop problems. Richardson running it out wide. Stiff arm, fumbles the ball. Pick it up. Oh, he ran into the end zone. He ran it back. Oh. Our dude could have just walked it into Robbie Chosen. Couldn't pick up the ball. So they will start on their two yard line. Running it is ETN, spin, blocked down, Fong, a gain of four. Oh, fuck. Richardson, man, we gotta work on your carrying. Lawrence going underneath, right to Christian Kirk for that little curl route that he loves oh so much. First and 10, 40 seconds left in the first. We need something out of you right now, defense. Pressure coming and he's sacked. Hey, he let's go, he only needs one more sack. He had a huge game last week, well, apparently, apparently had a huge game last week. I actually didn't look at his stats, I should have, but didn't. And now he comes up big, getting a sack on, right here on Trevor Lorden's little Goldilocks over there. Loss of 10. So I think we're gonna see a rush by ETN and then they're gonna try to pass it. But this should be the last play of the first quarter. Shakes off the first tackle and brought down from behind. Pick up of seven. Yeah, last play of the first quarter. Third and 13 on their own 11. Seven nothing after one quarter. Richardson had a chance, man, he fumbled. Fuck, man, he should've just went down. Right over the head, Christian Kirk first down. Jacksonville's really good on those. And our team fucking sucks at defending them. Right over the head, every time. Now first and 10, cross the middle, wide open again is Calvin Ridley. This might be the end. This might be the end for us, boys. We might actually get a regulation loss. Kansas City remains undefeated though after beating the Broncos. Four yard gain for ETN. Uh, come on boys. Second and six. Lawrence underneath, can't break up the pass. Third and two. Lawrence calling an audible. Play action, he sacked. Ibukam, or Ibukam, coming right on in off the edge, bringing Lawrence down as he curls back. No chance at all. And that's the stop we needed, and it pushes him out of field goal range. Our defense reel is gonna have to bail us out. They punt it and goes out at our seven. Yikes. Throws out to the left, three yard catch. Is that by Ertz? Is that by Ertz? I guess I won't know. Richardson again dropping back, steps up, takes the sack. Walker. Oh. 
Richardson didn't like that, and he knows he fucked up there. It was Zach Ertz with the reception. So third and 13, just gonna hand it off to Taylor. Makes one dude miss, trying to battle forward, only able to pick up a yard though. And we will lose two yards on this drive and have to punt it back to Jacksonville. Damn it. So our punt going back to their 41. And he'll be brought down at their 46. So we need a defensive turnover to really change momentum. First rush for five yards. Incomplete pass there for Lawrence. Good for us, anyways. Man, he fucking darts us up, Calvin Ridley. First and 10, Lawrence going underneath. Picks up two, man, we're just not able to stop him. They, ever since the start of this game, they've had full momentum their way. We haven't been able to get anything fucking going. Good breakup. Good fucking break up there. Third and eight, we can allow a field goal, just not a touchdown. Right over our fucking head to Evan Ingram for a fucking touchdown. Same fucking play. Same fucking play. And we go down 14 to nothing. Uh, we have a chance to tie it at least. We got two minutes, minutes to march down the field, score a touchdown, get the ball at half, and hopefully we can score another touchdown there. Good return, Hamler not wanting to go down, brought down at the 31. Hamler's starting to become a better returner. He, ha he was kind of rough at the beginning of the season. But he's gotten better. So a minute 48, three timeouts on our 31. Good catch, Richardson. See, that just doesn't happen for us. Second and eight. Throws, punched out of the hands of Robbie Chosen. See, how come we don't have any space? Ever. All right, third and eight. Richardson just throwing it away. Three and out, maybe 20 seconds went by. And the 
Hunt is up and away, going back to the 19, fair catch. And here comes Trevor Lawrence to throw more of those fucking streak routes to where our team will not be able to defend it. We're even defending medium range. And that's medium pass. That's a medium pass. Going with the halfback screen. You can't stop him there. Second and six. And Lawrence is going to use their first timeout, or Jacksonville will use their first timeout. They'll get second and six on their 24. Audible called. Going deep and blocked. Good jump there. Good fucking jump by our safety to block that or really swat it away. Third and six. This is crucial. If we get the stop here. Goes deep. Flag on the play. Oh my god. They gave us pass interference. Oh fuck. Now I have it on our on the uh, our 45, yeah. Trying to go halfback screen. Three yard game. Second timeout used by Jacksonville. They're looking to make it a three score game. 44 seconds, one timeout. Right across the middle, again. It's always across the fucking middle. Can we get an interception or fumble or same exact route? Same fucking exact route. Three touchdowns for Evan Ingram today. On the, running the same route. Man, I wish our guys could be that open. With 12 seconds left, Jacksonville expands their lead to three. Surprised we didn't get a flag there for fucking kick blocking their kicker. All thanks to a pass interference call. All thanks to that pass fucking interference call. That was bullshit. 21 nothing, Jacksonville. Seven seconds. QB keep for Richardson. Doesn't fumble this time. Thanks. Ever since Richardson fumbled on the one fucking yard line instead of going down. Jacksonville's been in full control and our offense hasn't been able to do shit. 21 nothing going into the second half. That's embarrassing. Super and fucking embarrassing. We got New Orleans in Houston. Houston up 27 to 7. Strong. CJ Stroud's got three touchdowns. Damian Pierce got a rushing touchdown today, too. We got the Lions in Tampa Bay. Baker Mayfield not being able to get anything going like we can't. 10 0 Lions. Jared Goff's got a pass and touchdown. And then over to London, we got the Ravens against Tennessee. Ravens beating Tennessee 17-14, battling back to a 3-2 record. Titans falling to 1-5. Derrick Henry got a rushing touchdown, though. And Trevor Lawrence just been dotting us up with that fucking streak route in Evan Ingram. We just can't defend it, I guess. So Jacksonville punting it off to us, or kicking it off to us. Hamler 
trucking his way forward, getting it up to the 22. I haven't seen much of Jonathan Taylor running the ball today. Probably won't, seeing as uh, we're down 21 nothing. Richardson's really got to come up big in the grabbing department. And sack fumble. Right away. Nobody blocks him. Nobody blocks him, and he fumbles. Here comes Trevor Lawrence now to make it a four-score game. Since our defense can't stop shit. Check down pass. Nope, no interception. Why would we try to pick that one off? That's a pick six right there. Now we're going to swat it away. Second and 10 now on our 12. Lawrence. Back of the end zone. Touchdown, Evan Ingram. Fourth touchdown today. Wide open. Nobody close to him. Everybody is playing shallow. Back pylon. Touchdown. Four fucking touchdowns, all Evan Ingram. He's gonna win player of the week. Not able to block it. Four score game. Two fumbles by Anthony Richardson. Can't get nothing going. All right. Let's see if it lets me switch our depth chart. It will, all right, good. All right, Richardson, you ain't doing, uh, not Richardson, Chosen, you're not doing nothing. We're going to put Hamler in. At least he'll get fucking targeted. So we'll put Hamler in over Chosen, see if that helps at all. And off to Jonathan Taylor. He's got room in front. First down run. See, if we just fucking ran it with Taylor, we'd probably be fine. We ran it with James Robinson. That's how we won games. Richardson drops back. Sideline. No good. Second and ten. Going with a halfback screen, no pass interference there. Yeah, no pass interference there, even though there was some. Third and 10 on the 32. Wide receiver screen, and he fucks it up. Seven yard game, we have to go for it. Josh Downs, he's crippled now. Then we won't go for it. We'll just punt it away. Good blocking by Jacksonville. Brought down at the 26. RPO. Seven yard game. We're gonna get shut the fuck out. Defense can't isn't doing shit. Offense isn't doing shit. We were not prepared for this game. Tackle for loss. A little late though to really do anything defense. Unless you want to get a pick six instead of swatting balls away. Second and 12 on a 37. 
on Jacksonville's 37, Lawrence. Underthrows a guy, thank God. Finally, something. Third and 12, pressured Lawrence, able to get rid of it. Wide open defense. Nobody on him. Oh my God. Of course. Wish my guy would get rid of it. Right there, our, our quarterback would have held on to the ball every time it happens. And there would have been someone right on that motherfucker because nobody on our team can fucking create any separation in any of these fucking games. And right away, they get full momentum back again. Underneath, catch. Here comes the touchdown. Next play, Evan Ingram. All right, let's get this over with. Ingram's on the right, bottom right there, looking at him. Okay, never mind. We just can't bring down ETN. Three guys, four guys, all bouncing off him. Okay. Five score game, 34 0. It's only the third quarter. Zach Ertz has been missing. Everybody's been missing. Really. Literally, everybody's been missing. Here comes Richardson. Maybe you'll be able to do something for once, you lazy piece of shit. Blitz coming. And he's got somebody. Who is that? That's KJ Hamler. One pass, one touchdown. All I had to do was call him a lazy piece of shit. And we come out swinging. Four score game again. It's still a four score game. Hamler knows, just drop the ball, go to the sideline. No point celebrating. But at least we won't get shut out. Still gonna have to have a miraculous comeback to get this dub. I think we're trying to battle back a little too late, honestly. So we'll be returning it from their one and brought down at their 17. Three minutes left in the third quarter. If we keep getting one pass touchdowns, we might have a chance, but we'd have to actually get a stop. We'd actually have to stop Jacksonville's offense, which has just not been existent. Like that just has not happened whatsoever in this game. Four yard pickup for ETN. Lawrence looking to pass again. He'll find Ingram for the first down. Oh, and he missed his target. That's just Lawrence fucking up there. Even he's saying, my fault, my fault, my fault. He had him for the first down pass. He just fucked it up. Third and six. Come on, get pressure. Going with a halfback screen. Falls forward, fourth and two. We get the stop. All right. All right, we got the stop. But now we gotta score another touchdown. They punt it back behind our 25, all the way down to our 24. Holy shit, what a leg. Hamler's got one reception for 75 yards and a touchdown today. Jacksonville can't see what Richardson's targeting, so there is that handoff to Taylor, runs right into our O-lineman. And loses two yards. That's Jonathan Taylor. Second and 12, that's been our luck too. Just fucking ourselves. Second and 12, Richardson intercepted. Going for Hamler. See, that guy jumps the interception. You know who doesn't jump the interceptions? Our guys. Our dudes just stand 10 feet away from their receivers. 
And if they do get a chance to interception, they just wave their hands around. Oh, my God. Three turnovers today for our team. We have three fucking turnovers. All of them are from Anthony Richardson. Every last fucking one of them. Growing pains. Growing pains. We're still in a good spot in our division. Just a really, really tough loss. Can't stop anything. Anything. Fucking anything. Can't stop shit. And there we go. We're not going to be getting that upgrade to Superstar either. 42 to 7. Third quarter. It. We're down by so much, it doesn't matter anyways. I'm going to play the rest of the game. Might as well. All right, get a three-yard gain with Richardson. Uh, not Richardson, with Jonathan Taylor there, second and seven. That's all we're going to do to start this one. Just going to try to run it with Richardson. Ready, ready. Ready, ready. And there we go. Big pickup for Jonathan Taylor. Get it all the way down to Jacksonville's 38. This is what we got to do, team. We're a running team. Offensive coordinator, you just... Offensive and defensive coordinator just lost their privilege to pick what we're doing. Damn. Four yard pickup for Taylor. He's averaging seven yards a carry. So he's having himself a good game. Ready. run it just run it with Richardson don't want to risk shit see if Jeter can just fucking beat him or not Jeter Josh so Hamler or Josh oh tried it Try to get that outside pass, that perfect pass to him. Taylor, third and one. Levin rushes 79 yards. Here we go, Shaq! And Jonathan Taylor in his first game back gets a rushing touchdown. There we go. See, all we gotta do is run the ball and our team is extremely efficient. Richardson should not be throwing the ball 40 fucking times a game. He's just not that kind of guy. So we get it back 42-14 now, our squad. We might be able to get it to 28 points. Maybe. If we can stop this Jacksonville team, but their offense is so fucking good. It's gonna be really hard. Fucking Trevor Lawrence got five touchdowns, four of them fucking going to Evan Ingram. Dumbass. 
Go, go! Go, go! Alright. Well, seems I can't stop this team either. So, can't complain too much. Three yard pickup for ETN. Two Russian touchdowns, 65 yards. Not good. Not good. They're just running the clock out. Barely picks up that first down. I thought we had him. Two yard pickup for ETN. This will probably get him to the two minute warning at least. Force Lawrence to throw it away. We get three minutes left here in the fourth. Might be able to get it to 28, like I said. Maybe. Doubtful, but maybe. So first and 10, we're on our 13. Richardson, we need you to pick it up in the air, buddy. Good fucking block. That's how you follow your blockers, Taylor. We haven't gotten him involved in shit. So no wonder our team isn't doing nothing. Oh, I had him. Just a fucking split second later, and we had him. Come on, come on. Back. There we go. Barely fucking completed, but nice job, Richardson. Man, they are sending pressure. Fucking pressure. I'm just gonna let this one play out, so that sucks. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. He's brought down there by Kenny Moore. Second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Ridiculous, 
Another tote for ETN. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Here's Logan Cook now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it's sailed out at the 10-yard line. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle. Go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move.